All right, so we've already kind of talked about frequency a little bit, time, how we measure that using hertz. And we've looked at units of measurement. So you have some prefixes in your mind. We're going to tie that together and apply it to an actual piece of computer hardware. The one we want you to associate it the most with is the CPU. So we know that the CPU is a piece of hardware. It's kind of like the brain of the computer. Well, we could measure the CPU speed, and we can measure that and talk about its speed using the unit Hertz. I know we said that Hertz was measuring something happening in a second of time. We're going to be a little bit more specific now and say that the Hertz is going to measure the number of signal pulses that the CPU can work on in a second or per second, right? So down here in this picture, you can see this right here is our computer organization drawing we have an input device it's receiving some kind of a pulse some kind of a signal pulse and the CPU is going to work on it and there's a little stopwatch there that's going to measure so in a second we want to see how fast it can work on, a, on, on signal pulses we want to know how many signal pulses can it actually work on in a second so an example would be 3.2 gigahertz right if that were the case that means these signals that you see that we're sending in as data to the input device and eventually to the central processing unit 3.2 gigahertz would mean that we can send 3.2 billion of these signal pulses and that CPU can handle that in one second or in one cycle right you can stick to seconds just to make it easy for us right now obviously the higher the number with the same unit the more signal pulses the CPU can uh, work on, send and send out and work on it can receive and, and send out. Um, there are other things so just know there are other stuff that determine the actual speed so you can't completely compare things using just this number alone because there's things like the cores um, and other clock cycles that are adjusted but for us beginners we're gonna stick to okay we're gonna compare them side by side and if they're the same unit 3.2 gigahertz and another one is 2.2 gigahertz based on only that information not other fancy stuff like cores and other things we're gonna say that the 3.2 gigahertz would be faster than the 2.0 gigahertz right because it's got more gigahertz it's got more signal pulses that it can work on in that second 